Welcome back to another video review. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving, you had a good time with your family, and you got some good food into your stomachs. Um, today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Velkin V Tactical Kilo Compact Bag. Alright, so a little bit of background about Velkin. Uh, from my understanding, they're a paintball company. They have been moving into the airsoft industry. They've made a couple rifles and items for airsoft. And, uh, and they also released this bag that we're going to look at today. Um, so let's get into the bag. I picked up this bag for $45 Canadian plus tax from a local airsoft shop. Uh, at this time, I know that sitting about $60 was the Canadian US dollar exchange rate, which is still a pretty decent deal. Um, I just happened to get it when they were first coming out. Like This item wasn't even listed on the Vulcan website. I think it was a trial item at that time. I'm not sure to see how popular it would do. So I picked one up. I was using it for work. I've had it for uh, two summers now, and it's one of my favorite bags. Uh, if you look at any of my other reviews, uh, like my Condor Fuel bag, there's some things that I liked about it, I didn't like. This one has a lot of the features that were missing on that bag that I just, I love about this bag. So, it's made out of uh, 600D nylon. It is uh, PVC coated, so if you open up one of these pouches here, you can see this PVC coating here. I know that uh, a lot of companies are starting to get away from this, something about hazardous material and such, which is usually why they stop using something. Um, if you're around back in like the early 90s and stuff and you used a lot of like the military gear, this would be inside and you'd know that over time it cracks, it peels off, it just it disintegrates. So a lot of companies are moving to the PU, uh, which is the polyurethane coating for waterproofing their stuff. As you can see over time, I've already got some here that's already peeling, it's already gone through. Uh, this is, was an attachment point here and it's starting to rip a little bit. So it does wear down, but like I said, I've had this bag for two summers. This thing I was using on construction sites so it was getting dragged around. Um, so, you know, for the condition it's in, still doing well. All right, so we'll move from the front to the back of it and we'll go over all the different things with it. Um, the material as mentioned is 600D nylon. Uh, the zippers, I do not think that they're YKK, but they're very sturdy. I haven't had any issues on seizing up or them breaking. They're pretty thick. They've done the job. Um, plastic buckles and the stitching and everything on it is double stitched all around the outsides, even on these seams and such. Uh, when they did the molly, it's double stitched. So very well sewn. I haven't had anything rip apart on it yet. All right. So uh, right here we got a buckle with a V strap. This is for like carrying a helmet or putting your jacket or whatever you want to stuff underneath there and hold it onto your pack. Uh, there's a little buckle here with a snap buckle uh, so that you can attach whatever you want to attach there. A water bottle that has like the hanger on it or whatever. You can attach that there. They call this uh, two small pockets. Uh, I would say that this is like a small and this is a medium. But anyways, inside here, I uh, got a small pouch. You can put your sunglasses, glasses, whatever you want to store in there. If you're playing paintball airsoft, you can put your safety goggles in there. I do wish that they lined this with like some felt or something just to protect the glasses. But for the price point, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles, right? So anyways, that's a zippered compartment as well. On top of it, it has some molly attachment points, so if you want to put some smaller pouches on there, you can. And again, with this medium sized pouch, you have molly with some hook and loop, so you can attach some patches if you wish. Inside this medium pouch, again, PVC coated, has a lanyard to attach keys or whatever you wish there. It's got some slots here for pens or markers, sort of a smaller pocket, and then another pocket right here. And it's double zippered as, as well, so it's like a clamshell design. I'm gonna move to the sides now. So on the side here, you got some more Molly attachment points, which I really like. This is one of the things I was mentioning on the other bag that was missing that really, you need to have that for attaching whatever. I was putting utility, um, utility knives. I was putting uh, other items on here, like I had a the medical pouch for the gloves and also, um, multi-tool I had attached on here my Gerber suspension also on the sides we have uh, 
two restraining straps per side, which I really like. So whatever items you do put in here, you can cinch them down and gonna move them around on you. All right, so moving back downwards again, underneath these two smaller pouches, I guess maybe this is their medium pouch, whatever. It's a fair size though. Uh, I would say this pouch is like an inch and a half to two inches in depth. Uh, the whole section of this, because I don't have measurements on the website, is 15 inches in length, so it's a pretty sized pouch. Has some uh, mesh storage area here, and larger pouch area here. It's pretty roomy. And then finally, underneath there is the next storage compartment, which is a clamshell design. So I'm just gonna move it over here. On this side, we've got mesh. Uh, it's got some foam in it for extra padding. And on this side, we got a zippered mesh pocket for storing whatever items you want in there. And this is pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's three inches deep for this. And it's got the length of roughly 17 to 18 inches. So it's a fairly, you can store a lot of stuff in this. Like I packed this bag full of tons of stuff. And it just, it carried everything that I needed to. And it wasn't too heavy. All right, so flipping it over now, <coughs> we have shoulder straps. They have the air mesh so that it breathes. They're very comfortable. I didn't have any issues with them. Has a chest strap. And then I just have it tucked away, but on the bottom here, we have your waist strap. And they have on everything on here, which I really like about this bag, is they have these elastic restraining straps. And they have webbing, so you can attach uh, any of those clips for your hydration tubes and such. But as you can see, I just got mine stored away here. I, do, I did put a bladder in here. And it's all tucked away nice and clean. I like that. All right, on this section of the pouch, you'll see that there's two draining grommets, and in here is where you put your hydration pouch. I like how this has so much accessibility to get in for refilling your uh, hydration bladder if need be, or doing whatever you gotta do in there. A lot of room to work with it, pull it out, put it back in, really, really like it. Um, the top loader ones, they're sort of a pain when you gotta pull them out and refill them, but this, is just, I love it. I just, the ability to have so much room to work with it, excellent. And I wish that majority of bags came with that much space to be able to do that. If they made this zipper go all the way around, it would even be better, because then you just clamshell open it up, work with your hydration, fill it, or do whatever you gotta do, and you're ready to go. So, that's pretty much all the features with this bag. As mentioned, I was using this for work and such. Um, the reason why it's all taken apart right now and there's nothing in it is because I've just built up a new camping bag and I took some of the stuff that was in here and I've been sorting it and figuring out what I want to be put in this. I'm gonna be using this for medical and work related. So for example, the Condor Ripaway EMT pouch fits perfectly on the back of this, uh, which I really like as you can see. Uh, like I said again, on the sides, you can attach whatever you want on there as well. Uh, and then something I forgot to mention is that you run your hydration tube through the top of the middle of it. Uh, that's one thing that uh, they might want to change that up. You know, it's not a huge deal, but maybe having it come out the side, they could have made it so where this area is, they could have made this where the holes are and have the Velcro on both sides of the handle. But Regardless, it works. And the handle, forgot to talk about that. The handle is very, very sturdy. They folded it over and it's got actual webbing in it. This thing is stiff. It's a very good handle. They've used the box and cross stitching on it so that that's not gonna come apart. It's in the right positioning, which I really like on this bag. Just overall, it's a great bag. And uh, you know, other companies uh, that sort of mimic this bag, because you, you'll see this bag mimicked by Condor, uh, 511, a whole bunch of companies that have pretty much the same design, 
but they add their own twists on it, probably for like copyright issues or whatever. Um, or not copyright, uh, what do you call it? Anyways, I digress. So anyways, overall, a nice bag. So if you have any questions uh, or any comments, leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe. Um, have a great day, have a great week, and take care.